introduce to you somebody who is so known in Nigeria and the world at large. She is a, a producer. She's a film producer and also an actress. She is now the present president of Nollywood. She went for uh, an award event in Canada and this, this evening. Hallelujah. Also, she is, she is a first cousin to my spiritual father, Archbishop Isaac de Dahusa. Hallelujah. And also, a first cousin to Apostle Johnson Suleiman. She is all round guided and protected with great men of God. Move us, hallelujah. For two minutes, let's put our hands together and, uh, and come, come, just come up. Hallelujah. Our name is uh, Queen, Queen Blessing. Thank you. Good evening. Um, it's really amazing to be here. I'm excited. When Bishop told me about the program, and I said to myself, Toronto is just a stone throw. Why don't I grab that ticket and join? Um, anytime I find myself in the midst of children of God, I like to share what God has done for me. I use it to teach, I use it to preach. For two minutes, I'm just going to talk about God's time. Sometimes we wonder why we don't have some things in our lives and we blame God. But one thing I know, using myself as an example, is that if God does not give it to you now, doesn't mean he won't give it. It only means it's not yet time. And he's preparing you for when he will give you that thing and it will make sense. There are some people who stumble into wealth too early and they misuse it. And so, sometimes just looking at my life, how I started, standing before you is a woman who sold pepper and tomato. Wow. I hugged fufu. You know, you carry that show glass and you do boom, boom, buy fufu. And at 43, I've achieved a lot. I have a son who is 17. Amen. Yes, I can beat myself and say, I didn't marry his father. Mm. That was not God's destiny for me. Wow. But again, God gave me an amazing child, mm. and I'm raising him to fear God. Amen. Sometimes you find yourself single, and you cry so hard. You say, all oh, my mates are married. Mm. Why am I still single? Mm. Why don't you ask God, those your mates that are dead, why are you still alive? Oh. For every question you ask God, there is an answer that you can just tell yourself. I am here because there is something God is still saying. And I always like people to believe that no matter what, it's going to happen. Some of you are here in America. You came over here to try to make it better because back home is not really nice. Some of you don't have documents. And you tell yourself, I got here before Christiana. Christiana already has green card. Why me? But there are sometimes, even that Christiana, if you look at it very well, there's something he or she is still lacking that you have. That's right. That's right. Some people are married, 40 years, no children. But you just have your own child, but you are angry that the man promised marriage and he did not marry you. So what, he didn't marry you? That is not your husband, your husband will come. You know, so I always like to tell people, especially women, hang in there. It will happen. Your green card will come. Your children will come. Your husband will come. That money will come. You see, this money we met it here. We're going to leave it here. So always strive to seek the face of God first, and everything will come. And if you're going to a church and things are looking up for you, maybe not as you want. Don't leave that church because you want to become a prostitute in different churches. Because that 
that period you left, an angel might be looking for you. And that is where your blessing is. And then you've left, and then you began from square one where you've gone to. Then you have to wait your turn in that new place. So I'm encouraging everybody under the sound of my voice. You are a member in this church. Seek it through. You have a fantastic man of God. And I'm sure that your spiritual life is covered. So by the grace and power of God, everything you're looking for, you will get. Like I said, I was led in my spirit to talk about God's time. That's my son's name, by the way. And God's time for me has been everything. I've traveled everywhere. In July, I was in London. I received an award there as well, the most devoted industry leader. The man of God introduced me and said, I'm the president of Nollywood. Well, you can say that because I'm the president of the Association of Movie Producers. And the Association of Movie Producers is the body that houses 90% of all the producers in Nigeria. So we are the entrepreneurial side of Nollywood. We employ everybody, from the actors, the director, makeup, everybody in that value chain. So you will not be wrong when you say, I'm the president of Nollywood. Small me, right? But it's God. Amen. It took me 24 years to get here, and I'm excited to be here. And any time I have the opportunity, I will lend my voice for God and always work for God because it could only be God. I'm still here to the end of the program. Maybe tomorrow, if I have the opportunity to stand in front of you, I'll be sharing so many things with you. Thank you again for having me. Hallelujah. Are you blessed already? Are you blessed already? Amen. The, mess, the topic of my message today is God's time is the best. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Have we given our offering this evening? Have we given our offerings? Everyone stand to your feet with an offering.